So the deployment, I was the only dentist on a NATO base of about 5,000. Um, we work seven days a week, always on call, 24 hours a day, and it was one of the best experiences of my life. I'm Ajitha and I work as a dentist in the Air Force. So a dentist in the Air Force, it's basically the same as being a civilian dentist. Uh, you do the exact same treatment. You don't really have to sell your treatment because you're not working in private practice. You can do the best um, treatment available for your patients and refer them to um, whoever needs to be to get them the best care. For the past 10 years since I've graduated, I've put a real emphasis on making sure I use my free time on giving back to the community, whether it's in Australia or overseas. So I started doing NGO work as soon as I graduated, so 10 years ago. Um, but I started my NGO officially two years ago, registered in India. I tend to focus on children and elderly people that can't fend for themselves. It focuses on three things, predominantly healthcare for people that can't get access to healthcare, soft skills in terms of allowing people to get jobs, that's an area that we're increasing focus on these days. In the long term, I'd like to provide education for people that can't get education as well. I have to say that all my confidence in terms of starting my NGO has come from being in defence, like literally all of it. They've given me the leadership skills within the first few years to believe that I am capable to do those things and they've put me in positions that have exposed me to different elements of health, which have made it very easy to translate those skills into the non-profit. I'm very proud of the Air Force turning 100. Um, I've been part of the Air Force for 10 years now and it's brilliant to see how far we've come in those 10 years as well as how far we have come in 100 years.